Hi, I'm Julia and this is my shed. So today's job is to fit the um, slide bar bracket and the slide bar assembly and uh, adjust the, the length of the piston rod on the big end so that we've got the piston sitting midway in the travel. Um, yeah, so once we're happy with the fit of everything, I can then paint the bracket and then it can all go together for good. So uh, yeah, let's get down to it. I've got all the parts ready. Uh, I've only got brass countersunk screws at the moment for the slide bars, but uh, I've ordered some proper high tensile ones. So we'll uh, let's pop it together and see what it looks like. So I need to take the slide bar assembly apart again and if you remember from last time we've, we've got some shims just to shim it out slightly so we've got plenty of clearance on the, on the cross head. So what I'm going to do is um, actually glue the shims to these um, spacers. Uh, that way it will be a bit easier when reassembling. But we've got to take this apart now so that I can attach this to the piston rod. I'll put you on time lapse for that. So, if you just saw, I've um, screwed the cross head onto the um, piston rod. What I'm going to do is measure the, this distance when it's fully in and then pull it out and measure this distance. Um, and then I'm going to compare that with um, when, when the connecting rod's attached. Um, with, with the, cause we, what we can do is unscrew this piston rod slightly to adjust that distance from, from the pivot. Um, because really what we want to do is, is during the motion of the cylinder for it to be central within the, within the cylinder. So uh, I'll get that set up and measure it and then we'll see how it looks with the connecting rod attached. So I've just discovered uh, another little job. So I cut the um, the bottom edge of the connecting rod is is touching the uh, sorry the is touching the top of this link. I don't really want to take any more off the link. I'm not sure if you can see, but the the holes uh, are nowhere near lined up at the moment. So we need to take about two mil from the bottom of the crosshead. So we'll add that one to the list. <laughs> Anyway, let's. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is move the. Um, I've connect. I've attached the connecting rod. So let me just turn that around. So what we're going to do is move the wheel between front and rear dead centre, and we'll measure this gap again with the uh, calipers and see how, you know, how offset the cylinder the piston is within the cylinder. See if we need to adjust anything. I've done a bit of arithmetic um, at back dead centre uh, we've got about 3.26 3 mil um, between the back um, cylinder cover and the piston and at the front dead centre we've got 3.24 so almost exactly the same within 0.02 of a mil so that's uh, that's spot on that is that's perfect for a steam engine so we've got the same uh, gap at each end of the piston, so about three mil. So uh, yeah, so we don't need to adjust anything on the piston rod. We can um, uh, put a locking uh, grub screw in the back of that to hold that in position or some thread lock or something. But uh, yeah, so just fully threaded on uh, works perfectly. So that's good. So 
So I've only got the bracket um, loosely in place at the moment. But I'm not sure if you can see, but the back of the wheel is touching the bracket. So we need to machine a bit off, off that bracket. See the brackets moving as I move the wheel. Uh, wheels, the wheel is a little bit eccentric. So, uh, but yeah, we need to shave a bit off this this edge here before we go any further. Um, and this is sort of kind of what you expect with a kit, really. There's going to be a lot of fettling required. I'll just bring you so you can see a bit better. Rotate the the wheel. You can see the brackets moving around all over the show. Yeah. Okay, so that's looking pretty good actually. So I'm pleased with that. We need to do two mods. Then we need to modify this bottom of the crosshead. And we need to modify the, the bracket slightly. I think I've heard in the past people said they needed to modify the brackets. The um, the slot is really too far forwards. It should be a bit further back. Yeah, so we'll dismantle it again. Do some modifications, which I'll bring you along for so you can see what I'm doing. And uh, yeah, we'll get back to it. Okay, so that's the right hand side all fitted up. As you probably saw on the time lapse, um, I've got no way of getting this particular bolt in. And it's going to be quite hard to get the nut on the one on the back as well. So I need to figure that out um, for final assembly. But um, we've got lots of clearance now. This, this fits in. There's plenty of clearance behind the wheel. It is turning over quite freely, so I'm pleased with that. Um, the other side's at a similar sort of state. So the next job is to um, take this bracket off now and paint it. This just shows the um, cutout I did to clear the um, middle wheel. I took a little bit out of the bottom here, but it's no big deal really. You won't be able to see any of that. Okay, so that's the uh, primer done. Looks okay. We'll let that dry a bit and we'll put the top coat on. So um, I, I mentioned that I was uh, not sure what to do um, when I was at my local model engineering club. And um, they rather obviously suggested, or a couple of friends there obviously suggested, why not take the cylinder off? Um, and then that gives you quite a lot more access then, because the frames isn't, isn't in the way and the, and the uh, wheels aren't in the way. Um, which is so obvious it's almost laughable, but <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't think of it. Um, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. I'll, I'll pop this off and then bring you back to the bench and we'll start assembling... Uh, this this assembly. I've got everything I need for the right hand side cylinder now so uh, let's start assembling it. I'll put you on time lapse for this because it might, might take a while. It's going to be quite fiddly I think.
I'm installing the lower slide bracket screws here. I've had to remove the stretcher to gain access. Um, off camera, uh, I've had to shorten these uh, bolts because they were fouling at this end. Um, but actually taking it off has made it a lot easier. Taking that stretcher, oh, I had to remove the front uh, front bogey as well, just to get us, just so I've got some access really. Um, but once we've done that, it's sort of one step forward, two steps back sort of thing. Um, we've got, got that turning over quite nicely. It's a little bit tight at the moment. So it might be worth uh, running it around the track once just to help it free up a bit. It's not that clear where the tightness is actually. But um, I'll have a little bit more of a fiddle. But that's basically the um, slide bar assembly done. So I'm really pleased that's that's finished. Um, yeah, I think I'll leave it there. I've got to do the other side, but it's more of the same, really. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, please leave a comment. Always interested to hear what you've got to say. Uh, I knew this was always going to be a bit fiddly because there's just not a lot. There's a lot of uh, machinery packed into one space here, so it's uh, there's a lot going on. But I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.